Hi, this is to introduce a bit of cell biology, talking about organisms, genomes, and the yeast genome. An organism is a complex structure, and interconnected elements integrate the overall functioning of the being. Organisms' diversity is immense, from unicellular to multicellular, with a nucleus and without it different membranes and systems, different life cycles, and more. In our time, we study organisms in detail by sequencing genomes and dissecting its elements to find interesting functions. All organisms have a genome which makes up what they are, and it dictates responses to external influences. A genome is the complete genetic material of an organism stored mostly in the chromosomes. It is known as the blueprint of the living. A genome is made of long sequences of DNA based on a four-letter alphabet T, A, G and C. We are interested in locating and describing specific locations in a genome because this allows us to learn about diversity, evolution, hereditary changes and more. To understand this better, we subdivide a genome. The written information in a genome uses the DNA alphabet. Think of a genome as a set of books, and each book is a chromosome. Chromosome numbers on each genome are highly variable. Usually chromosomes come in pairs, but multiple sets are very common too. Each chromosome has ordered genetic sequences. Think of chapters in a book. To find specific genetic instructions, we look at genes. These are like the pages in a book containing a recipe to make proteins. Some genes will produce proteins, but some won't. These are called coding and non-coding genes. Coding genes are expressed through proteins responsible for specific functions. Proteins come up following a two-step process, DNA to RNA, a step known as transcription, while the RNA to protein is a step called translation. As an example, we are going to study the yeast genome, a single-cell microorganism. The fungus that people love Yeast is used for fermentation and production of beer, bread, kefir, kombucha, and other foods, as well as for bioremediation. Its scientific name is Saccharomyces cerevisiae, or S. cerevisiae. Yeast is a very well-studied organism due to its fast development. Many experiments use it as a model. The yeast genome is a dataset available from UCSC. We have picked this genome because it has a small size. In the following exercises, you will find out more about this genome. For example, you can call a specific genome version and assign it to an object, as shown in the second line. The BS Genome Package provides us with many genome datasets. To get a list of the BS Genome Available datasets, use the function available.genomes. Then, using common accessor functions, you can learn about the genome. For example, the number of chromosomes using length, the names of the chromosomes using names, and the length of each chromosome by DNA base pair using seq lengths. Specific genes or regions are interesting because of their functions.
You can retrieve sections of a genome with the function get sick. The minimum argument required is the BS genome. The first example will give you all of the sequences in a GS genome. Then you can specify some other parameters to select sequences. From chromosome M, use CHRM. Next, you can specify the locations of the sequences to extract using start, end, or width. Using end equals 10, select the first 10 base pairs of each chromosome of the genome. Now it's your turn to explore the yeast genome using the functions from the BS genome pair.